you doing? I'm all right, man. I'm just ready for this. I'm glad we both are matching in some way. So we got it. We got we got the Star Wars thing going on. Good thing we we did not pick Star Wars for any of our strengths because we just know so much. Yeah. And you know what? Who's scruffy looking? Is it us or is it them? I think it might be them, Antonio. It might be them after the end of this. Yes. <laughs> I agree with well, you. you don't know, I went on a nationwide search for a partner. Uh, once my old partner abandoned me um, within a week of the match. Um, and I had many candidates come to me uh, for options, and I picked uh, clearly the best choice of the bunch. I would be lucky to be his partner. So, Antonio, thank you for reaching out to me. Um, I think we're going to do great in this team match, and I look forward to it. Buddy, you got anything else to say? Hey, I'm just grateful for the opportunity. I'm actually honored to be that you chose me. So I just want to I don't want to let you down, man. So let's Of course, brother. It came with very high praise, and uh, the other team is bad. So let, let's win this. <laughs> All right, Sean, we're finally here. It's time. Jurassic Sharks making their Warzone debut. This is the day we've been waiting for. Uh, Sean and I have both had uh, some singles experience under our belt now, uh, but we've just been chomping at the bit to get in the ring together, and I can't wait for it. Uh, we've been working so hard. Uh, we both uh, had our, our debuts in the tournament, uh, both coming off a loss, so right off the bat, we both got a chip on our shoulder. And that makes us dangerous because our response to, to losing is go get better. So that's what we've been working on ever since we got eliminated from the tournament is getting better, improving our game. We're like that robot in The Incredibles. Every time you beat us, we just come back stronger. And, uh, you know, today we're going up against the uh, Nerf Herders. Uh, you know, I love Nick. Nick's a really entertaining guy. He's one of my favorite people in the, uh, in the, in the fan leagues. And I, he'll probably downplay his knowledge, but what Nick knows, he really knows. And Antonio, uh, he, he had some uh, promising shows in, uh, in Classic. And I think he has a bright future in the fan leagues, but that's in the future. His present, our job today, is kind of ruin it for him. So I'm going to hand it over to my partner. He is the hardest working man in movie trivia. He is Sean, the movie crusader, Waskru. Sean, let him hear it. Thank you, Kirk, as always. Uh, I love that the whole kumbaya thing is over between the other team. I'm glad you guys are best buds and you guys met each other. It's so cute and nice and, and all that stuff. We are exactly what we call ourselves. We're Jurassic Sharks. We murder. And yes, we had a match already. We took out two big dogs in a league that is no longer around anymore. So I won't call them out, but you all knew who you are. So we are on a high pedestal in terms of how good we are. So we are coming in to prove that it wasn't a fluke. And we are ready. Sharks, their blood's in the water and the Jurassic Sharks are ready to eat. Let's do it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Multiplex Movie Warzone. We are back together in the teams division with two debut teams looking to make their first mark here at, in our division. Although a lot of these players we know from all over, they've done well in the tournaments, they've done well in, over in Full Metal and Classics. Uh, we've seen a lot out of these people already, but we're getting ready to see how they can do here. Uh, my name is Brian the McGuffin Michaels. I'm your host tonight, but with me is my co host, uh, Andrew the Dive Bar. How are you doing tonight, Andrew? I'm doing good, Brian. I got my hosting headphones on. Uh, I'm excited to see these two teams play. Um, we've seen how a lot of them can do. They're all very strong competitors. So this is a match that I'm expecting to do to um, be a pretty close match altogether. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's no way to tell how this one's going to turn out. It may just come down to which movies and which questions they get. Uh, but let's, without any further ado, let's get to our introductions, get these people in the ring. Uh, first up, of course, making their debut here in Multiplex Movie Warzone teams is Kirk the Consigliere Kolkowski and Sean the Crusader Wasserkrug. They are the Jurassic Sharks. Jurassic Sharks, how are you feeling about tonight's match? Ready to go. Let's do it. All right, short and sweet. They're ready to go. And their opponents, also debuting with a record of 0-0, zero and zero, is Nick the Name Tuig. And Antonio Chavez, they are the scruffy-looking nerf herders. How are you guys feeling tonight? Good, good. Jurassic Sharks are extinct, just so we're sure. Ooh. There. And even Jaws is a shark, and he died. So, yeah, we're going to take care of them, too. Okay. We'll overlook the fact that you guys were a long, long time ago as well, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. And with that, we are going to get into round one. Round one works just like you've seen everywhere else. There will be eight questions in eight different categories, each worth one point. Uh, if a player gets them all right, they will get a ninth bonus question. Players answer individually on their whiteboards. Um, uh, for the whole round, for the whole match, you do get uh, three repeats and one challenge. Any questions? No oh, questions. Sir. All right. So, Andrew, why don't you get us started with our first question? 
All right, boys. Your first question comes in the category of sci-fi. I'm sorry, sci-fi. What is the name of Felicity Jones's character in Rogue One, A Star Wars Story? And I would just like to say his questions were written before they came up with their Star Wars based names. <laughs> There's no favoritism here, folks. There is not. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. Andrew, All right. uh, let's start with Antonio. Ah, damn. And is it Jen Aerosol? That is correct for one All point. Right. Uh, let's go to Sean. I didn't spell it, but I said Jen Urso. Where am I? Jen Urso as well. Mm, can we? I don't. Can I'm we, afraid don't not. It's Jen, Jen, not Jen. It's is Jen. Jen Urso. It's Jin. It's Jin with an I sound. Or, yeah. uh, if, you, if you put it with an I, so it was at least pronounced correctly, yeah. we can give it to you. But the spellings and the pronunciation are both off. There's no American names in Star Wars. Blue? <laughs> uh, <Luke? Luke? laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, that's it. Nick. Nick, Nick I don't know if there's right. two or not, but there might be. And Kirk. Jin or so. All right. Yeah, so that's an I we can accept because it, it sounds the same. So. All right, question two comes in the category of classics. In Citizen Kane, what does Charles Foster Kane hold and then drop before he dies? This is one of my favorite movies of all time. Yes, I'm pretentious. <laughs> you don't have to be pretentious like Citizen Kane. You just have to have some, you know, cinematic history. Five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. I'm going to start with Kirk. The snow globe. That is correct. And Nick? Snow globe. All right. Sean? Snow globe. And Antonio? Snow globe. All right. Everybody gets a point for that one. All right. Your next question is coming in horror. <gasps> what 2004 film starring Johnny Depp and John Turturro was based on a story by Stephen King? Not one of Johnny Depp's better movies, or Stephen King's for that matter. But you can say that a lot about a lot of Depp's movies after 2000. You really could. And actually, most Stephen King movies up until recently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fair. Four, three, two, one. Markers down. All right, let's start with Nick. Remember that movie, Monster Trucks? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Uh, Sean. Was it Secret Window? That is correct. Antonio. Uh, secret window. All right. And Kirk. I said the ninth gate. Ooh. Question four, then. We'll come to you in the category of musicals. What was the final film to feature all four of the Beatles? Uh, I, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm a huge Beatles fan. <laughs> yeah, we can kind of tell. <laughs> is it that obvious? Well, like over your shoulder, and then I, I remember you were on that one. Uh, was it a rank we were on? Talking oh, about Beatles? Take three, yeah. Oh, take three, yeah, five. Four, three, two, one. Mark your staff. Uh, Antonio. Uh, I want to hold your hand. I don't even know if that's the movie. I'm afraid that is incorrect. Kirk. Yeah. I said, hey, Jude. I think we're all just going to name songs. <laughs> uh, never seen the movie. I don't know when it was released. This might be totally wrong, but I know it uses their music across the universe. <laughs> uh, no, all four of the Beatles were not in there because two of them And Sean. Uh, no, unfortunately, the last one that featured them all was Yellow Submarine. We really are. Yeah, so they're all part of that movie. Sean did name a movie, though. So if, that's, it, if, that's, if, that's if, if anybody had gotten that right, I would challenge because I don't think they were technically in that. They didn't do the voices in, the, in that movie. That's why I was going to write Yellow Submarine, but there were no actual Beatles in that movie. Oh, they did not have the voices. Oh, I will have to talk to whoever got the question. Um, <laughs> would you like to challenge that and get a new question? I mean, no, 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 we're good. We'll, 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 we'll get a watch. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, well, your next question is going to come in directors. What was the first film feature? I'm uh, sorry. What was the first feature film directed by James Gunn? I love those film features. <laughs> Most of them are. Well, well, it was not a short. You were just letting me know it wasn't a, you know. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, thanks for the cover. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll go. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. 
All right. Uh, who did we start with last time? I think we started with uh, Nick last time. I think I started with Tony last time. Ah, okay. Well, then we're going to start with Sean. Was it Slither? That is correct. Nick. I really thought we did something before it, but I put Slither. Nice. Kirk. I think he directed Lolly Love. That's not what I have. Uh, and Antonio. I have Slither also. All right. All right, question six, coming in the category of coming of age films. In Dazed and Confused, Kay says that what 70s sitcom is actually the ultimate male fantasy? What sitcom would you consider the, uh, that? <laughs> uh, that is a dangerous question to answer. And so I'm just not going to go with it because I might actually give something away. That's fair. <laughs> Four, three. Two, one, markers down. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, Kirk. The Brady Bunch? I'm fine. Incorrect. Antonio. Mm, happy days. Sean? Three's Company? And Nick? Golden Girls? <laughs> <laughs> what did say? The Golden Girls? <laughs> that was 80s. Uh, no, the correct answer was Gilligan's Island. Gilligan's uh, Island? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. All right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Well, your next question is coming in. <laughs> Comedies. <laughs> <laughs> what 2015 comedy starred Kevin Hart and Josh Gad? Kevin Hart is somebody I really could not stand for the longest time. Now I just kind of tolerate him. I don't know. Uh, being from Philadelphia originally, I had to. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Mark All down. right. Uh, let's start with Kirk. I just said get hard. Mm, that is incorrect. No. Uh, Antonio. No guess. All right. Sean. It's the wedding ring. That is correct. Oh, and Nick. You should watch The Upside, Brian. You might actually like Kevin Hart, but it's The Wedding Ringer. <laughs> All right. And your final question in round one will come to you in the realm of 1980s movies. 1980s. Coughlin's Law appears in what Tom Cruise film? If you don't know, just guess an 80s Tom Cruise film. <laughs> uh, if only I was a law student. Five, Nothing. Okay. Four. I got it for that. <laughs> Two. <laughs> one. Markers down. Uh, let me start with Nick. Top Gun. That's incorrect. Sean. Rain Man. Also incorrect. Antonio. Cocktail. Cocktail is correct for a point. Really? And Kirk. Cocktail. Cocktail is correct. Okay. All right. So let me do a quick tally of the scores. Do like a little fist pump? All right. <laughs> um, Andrew, I have uh, Jurassic Sharks with seven points and Scruffy Lucky Nerf Herders with nine. That is what I have. All right. And with that, we're going to head into round two. Round two is, of course, our wheel round. There will be eight categories on the board, plus spinners and opponents' choice. Uh, whatever you spin, you can choose to spin a second time. However, you will be stuck with that second spin. Uh, there are questions worth two points. If you'd like, you can go to multiple choice, but that brings the point value down to one point, and steals are available in this round. Um, Scruffy looking Nerf Herders with a slight lead. You get to choose if you want to go first or defer. Oh, we didn't talk about this. <laughs> um, what do you got here? I think we should go first. All right, let's do it. I like it. All right, All right going to go first. Okay. Uh, give me a moment to bring up the wheel. So here's your wheel. Your categories for tonight will be Quentin Tarantino, Star Trek, that's the original movies, one through six, drama, movie release dates, recent releases, Harry Potter, comedy, Keanu Reeves, and of course, Spinners and Opponents' Choice. So, uh, Scruffy Lucky Nerfers, you have chosen to go first. Here is your first spin. Recent releases. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, Antonio, how you how you feeling about the other categories that we didn't know were gonna show up? 
We got dramas. I'm, I'm, I'm good with all of them. So I don't know. It's up to you. And you said you like this everything? one. You good with all the cable? I will spin I'll, again. I'll, so I'm, I'm down to go again if you want. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's okay. Do it. Second. Biscuit for the biscuit. All right. Spin it again. You are stuck with wherever this lands. Dramas. And thank God wow. Caleb Boatman is not here. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. So, Andrew, do you want to give them their questions in drama? I would love to. All right, boys, you ready for your first question in drama? Sure. Yep. All right, let's do this. Your first question. Who played Ophelia to Mel Gibson's Hamlet in the 1990 film? Any idea? No, I, um, I think if I hear multiple choices, I think. All right, all right. Multiple choice? All right. Yeah. All right. So your multiple choice options are A, Rene Russo, B, Sophie Marceau, C, Helena Bonham Carter, or D, Michelle Pfeiffer. I'm thinking Michelle Pfeiffer for some reason. All right. Go, go. I'm not going to become a guy of any, but. Five. So we'll go D. Do we got to say final answer? Two. Yes. The final answer. Chance for a one point steal. I'm pretty sure it was Helena Bonacar. If that's what you feel, then go go for it. That, that was option C, right? Yes. Option C, final answer. Correct for one point. Mel Gibson, that is an odd pair. <laughs> and yes, just as a reminder, in a team match, you do need to say final answer when you. Yeah. All right. All right. And, as soon as, and as soon as one player says final answer, that's your final answer. So. All right. All right. All right. All right, so your next question in Doramas. In Slumdog Millionaire, the final question in the film is about what classic novel? I get, you got it? I got it. I got it, too. Three Musketeers, right? Three Musketeers, final answer. For two points. All right. All right, your next question. What 2006 crime drama starred Anton Yelchin, Justin Timberlake, Ben Foster and Emil Hirsch. I don't know if this was 2006, but the movie that's jumping in my head is In Time. No, it's not that. Um, All right. What are we thinking? Do you to repeat our multiple choice in five, four? You want to repeat? Repeat. 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 All right. What 2006 crime drama starred Anton Yelchin, Justin Timberlake? Ben Foster and Emil Hirsch. We might have to go to multiple choice. I, I'll know it right here if we go multiple choice. Let's do it. Multiple um, choice. All right. All Your right. multiple choice options are A, Brick, B, A Guide to Recognizing Your Saints, C, Hostage, or D, Alpha Dog. D. Final D. answer, D. D, you said? Yes. For one point. Nice. Right. I never heard of that, so well done. He was dogs. I just fucking... Ah. All right, your next question. In Nick of Time, Christopher Walken and his associates kidnap Johnny Depp's daughter in order to force him to do what? <laughs> How broad can we be? I, I know it's an assassination. I don't, uh, we don't need to know specifics, just broad answers. Man. I'd say go with that. Yeah, so the final answer, assassination. I think we'd accept that. Yes. Two points. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I was trying to answer your question without being basically saying, yeah, you just yeah. said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, no, who it was or like how he did it, I don't know. <laughs> nope, no, just assassination. All right. All right, and your final question in dramas, what actress played the wife of Russell Crowe's Noah in 2014's NOLA. So, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure Emma Watson is in this movie. I don't know if I can see her being the wife of Russell. Right. <laughs> right. And I feel uh, we say multiple choice. I think we should just do Yeah, it. yeah, good, good call. All right. Your multiple choice options are A, Jennifer Connelly, B, Monica Bellucci, C, Sophie Marceau, or D, Olivia Williams. And we didn't go with that. Um, I'm thinking probably not Jennifer Connelly because that's a beautiful mind. Right. Um, 
Olivia. Do we get a free repeat of the options by any chance? The options you can repeat, yes. You want to, let's repeat it one more time. Yeah. Okay. So your multiple choice options are A, Jennifer Connelly, B, Monica Bellucci, C, Sophie Marceau, or D, Olivia Williams. Never heard of the other three names. Um, I'm down to just guess a random one. Unless you unless you lean in some way. Uh, I say B, B. B, B. Chance for a one point steal. Yeah. It's Jennifer Connelly, right, Sean? I think so. I uh, hate hey, hey. Jennifer Connelly, final answer. Correct for one point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Scruff of the yeah, Conifer is making five points in that round and two points of steals for Jurassic Sharks. Um, we are now going to go back to the wheel for Jurassic Sharks' turn. Okay. Did you want to hear the categories again? I think we're, you need them, Sean? No, I'm good. I'm okay. Good. All right. Well, here is your first spin. Harry Potter. We talked about this, Sean. What do you think? Uh, I will follow you on your thought process. <laughs> Do you think we're ready for it? I think based on what we got on the wheel, let's risk it. Yeah, I think this is what they're most likely good skills on. So yeah, let's risk it. Give it a roll. Yeah. So we're spinning again? Yep, yeah. we're gonna spin again. Okay, spin it again, stuck with whatever this lands on. Movie release dates. Good game, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I will give you your questions in movie release dates. Okay, question one. What year was Peter Jackson's King Kong released? That was 05, right? I believe it's 05 as well. 2005. Final, Final answer. answer? Yeah. yeah. That is correct for two points. Okay, question two. Which Steven Spielberg film was released in 1979? Is it Close Encounters? It could be. I don't know. When was 1941 released? I have no idea on that one. I don't think it was Close Encounters. You want to go multiple? Uh, four. Yeah, let's go multiple. Multiple choice. Multiple, yeah. Okay. Is it A, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, B, Jaws, C, The Sugarland Express, or D, 1941? <laughs> it's either <laughs> right. It's either red or green. Or I'm sorry. Can I have the options one more time? Is it A, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, B, Jaws, C, The Sugarland Express, or D, 1941? It's either A or A. It's either blue or green. I think green. Let's go green. Uh, D, final answer. D, 1941 is correct for one point. Blue and green. All right, question three. What year saw the release of films in the Terminator, X-Men, and Bad Boys franchises? It's 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 Bad Boys two because Bad Boys one there was no X Men films then. Uh, five, four, multiple. Three, yeah, two, I think multiple. I know, but I'm not enough to, to risk it. Multiple. Multiple choice. Uh, is it A two thousand two, B two thousand three, C two thousand five, or D two thousand six? It's it's red or blue. I think it's blue. I'm, I, I'm leaning blue. Can I get a repeat oh. of the question? The question? Sure, we can. All right. In movie release dates, what year saw the release of films in the Terminator, X Men, and Bad Boys franchises? I think it's blue also. All right. We're going to say 2003, final answer. That is correct for one point. Okay. Your penultimate question in movie release dates. Simply, what year did the Blues Brothers come out? I have a, I have a time frame. Do you want to do multiple? Three, I have a time frame, too. Two, multiple. Multiple one, choice. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Is it A, 1980, B, 1981, C, 1983, or D, 1984? It's a, it's a blue or pink. Go with your gut. 
Can I have the options one more time, please? A, 1980, B, 1981, C, 1983, or D, 1984? My gut's saying 81, Sean. Go it. Final answer, 81. That is incorrect. Would you like to try to steal? Take a 1980. I don't know if you've noticed from several of my answers so far, but I'm terrible at this category. <laughs> um, so you can pick the answers. <laughs> uh, yeah, 1980, final answer. That is correct for a one point steal. Good job, buddy. And your last question movie release dates. What year did we see the first Divergent movie and the last Hobbit film? I have, I have a range, but I feel like my range is going to be their choices for multiple choice. Uh, Three. Do I repeat? One. Repeat the question. Repeat the question. Okay, your second repeat <clears throat> is in movie release dates. What year did we see the first Divergent movie and the last Hobbit film? Well, I'll tell you, Sean, I'm thinking 2014. It's either 14 or 13. Um, I want to say 13, but if you think it's how, – how confident are you? Three, mm. two. Multiple choice. 2013? You're multiple? Okay. Multiple. Yeah, sorry. Is it multiple choice? Is it A, 2012, B, 2013, C, 2014, or D, 2015? You, are you confident 13? Because you know I'm a, you're more confident in this stuff than I am. I just didn't want to go multiple because I wanted to try to tie it. Uh, sorry. I don't want them two if we missed. We'll go 2013, final answer. That is incorrect. Uh, score for Lucky Nerford, if you'd like to steal. Antonio, I'm pretty sure they came out back to back to back starting in 2012. So it was 2012, 2013, 2014. Sound good? Yeah, 2014. 2014, final answer. That is correct for a one point steal. So they did manage to minimize the steal, make it only one point. Okay, we'll take a moment to calculate the score. 2011. <laughs> That brings us to the end of round two. Uh, Jurassic Sharks are uh, a slight, a little ground to make up with 13 points to Scruffy Looking Nerf for 16 points. But of course, anything can change as we go into round three, which is our pick your poison round. Our teams are going to answer four questions in four different categories worth progressively one, two, three, and four points, getting progressively harder by the point value. Uh, they will get six categories to choose from, and those categories will be Westerns, 2000s, Romance and Romantic Comedies, Scores and soundtracks, recent releases, and sci-fi fantasy. We're going to give our teams a chance to choose what they want for the questions, and we'll be right back after this. All right, we're back, and our teams have had a chance to choose their categories for the Pick Your Poison round. Uh, Jurassic Sharks have chosen uh, sci-fi for one point, romantic comedies for two, recent releases for three, and 2000s for four points. And Scruffy Lucky Nerf Herders have taken rom-coms for one point, 2000s for two points, sci-fi for three points, and recent releases for four and once again, Westerns is left hanging. So, <laughs> I'm not writing off. questions anymore. I give up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Since Jurassic Sharks is behind, they will be answering questions until they get the lead. So, Andrew, if you want to start with their one-pointer. Absolutely. All right. Kirk, you ready? Yes. All right. Your one-pointer in sci-fi fantasy, Mark Strong... Robert De Niro, Claire Danes, and Michelle Pfeiffer appear in what 2007 fantasy film? Stardust? That is correct for one point. Hey, just, uh, hey, for, for one and two pointers, you do not need final answer. For three and four, you will need final answer. Just so you know. Okay. All right. So Sean is getting rom-coms. Now, if I get this right, it goes to them because we'll be tied, right? Correct. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Sean, your two-pointer in romantic comedies slash romance. Who directed Pretty Woman? Rob Reiner. I'm sorry. We're looking for Gary Marshall. That Gary Marshall. It was, that, yep. That should have went with my gut. All right. <laughs> well, 14 points. We'll stick with you guys for your three points, which you can confer on, and we will need a final answer. Go ahead, Andrew. Oh, okay, good. I thought I lost you guys for a second. All oh, right. So, so, so 
<laughs> Recent releases. Here we go. All right, no, your three. Uh, yes. Your three-point question in recent releases. What is the name of Adonis and Bianca's baby in Creed 2? Five. What's that? Thoughts. Three. Two. You got one repeat left. Repeat. One. Up, up, up. That is okay. your final repeat? I was just about to answer. <laughs> sorry. 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 You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. What do you got? Was that our final repeat, by the way? That yeah. is your final repeat, yes. What, what do you I, got? I had them with one more. No, Kirk, Kirk used one. No, these two. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So go ahead and read the question. Yep. Yeah, uh, I, I got it. it. What is the name of Adonis and Bianca's baby in Creed 2? Uh, uh, Apollo popped in my head the last second, but I don't know if it's Apollo. Apollo or, um, or it could be Mickey, it could be Yeah. Five. What do you think? Four. You wanna go Apollo? Three, Apollo two. final answer. Apollo, final answer. That is incorrect. We're looking for Amara. Amara. Girl, duh. Comes down to this question. If you make it, it goes over to Nerf Herders. If you miss it, then they win the game. Okay. Two thousands. All right. <laughs> your final your final question How appropriate <laughs> yeah right your final question in the category of 2000s what is the first name of the lost boy they are trying to find in jurassic park 3. Five, four, three, two. I think it's Alex. One. Alex, final answer. And your winners, the scruffy looking Nerf Herders. Nick Tuig and Antonio Chavez. The correct answer was Eric. The boy's name was Eric. Oh, so a hard fought battle between two debuting teams. Um, it was actually very close going all the way up to the third round. They just managed to not get the right categories. Um, Andrew, do you want to take us into our post-match interviews? Sure. Uh, let's start off with, I guess we're starting with Jurassic Sharks. All right. Guys, that was a tough battle. Um, it just didn't turn out the way you guys wanted. It could have been just the wrong questions on the wrong day. How are you guys feeling? Uh... I'm 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 basically going to say this. It was my fault. Uh, the loss is on me, Kirk. It is. It is. It is on me. You had the right. You had 2014. I made you go multiple choice on it. We would have tied them, and then I also messed up on uh, something else that was killer. So it the loss is on me. It's not on Kirk. Uh, it was rough. We actually studied a hell of a lot on Harry Potter, but Harry Potter is such a broad subject that we were like, it might. I mean, there's some, but just might be stuff we just might not get. So we steered away from it. And then we got the one category we did not want, which was movie release dates. Um, so yeah, it didn't go our way. Uh, but like Kirk said, we are like the robot in The Incredibles. When we get defeated, we will come back stronger than before. Uh, we know what to work on. We know what to attack. And uh, we are going to come back just as ferocious as ever. And we're going to win next time. That's a guarantee. A guarantee. Kirk, what are your thoughts right now? Yeah, just didn't have today. Uh, bad spin, can't blame that. Um, we had something we could have worked with, and we spun away. I think we got maybe a little too cocky on that. And, uh, yeah, um, I I crapped the bed in the first round. Um, I, there were some things I knew I should have written down and didn't. And, uh, yeah, a lot of, lot of uh, what ifs going to be, uh, you know, rolling around my head for a while. Is what it is. Uh, they played a great game. Take nothing away from them. Um, they played awesome. Um, they they uh, Scruff and Oakland is going to be a tough team. All right. Well, you guys both did awesome as well. We know how good you guys both are when it comes to your singles. This was just a match that didn't go your way today. You both are a team to look out for, and I wish you luck in your next match. Thank you. All right. So let's take it over to the scruffy-looking Nerf Herders. Uh, you guys pulled out a victory in your first match. How are you guys feeling? Oh, I'm pumped, man. I don't know about you. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go like that, but yeah, I'm pumped as hell too. Oh, so Mark, I thought the boy's name was Danny. 
So I'm very happy we did not have their questions. <laughs> no, I no. knew it was a girl. I just, I just was like, they were getting guys' names, and I was like, okay, good. They're not. Yeah. Gonna yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you guys, uh, you guys have one win on your name. Is there any teams that you guys wanna wanna throw the gauntlet to, or just would be looking forward to maybe facing eventually? Um, I don't know. I'm thinking like. Maybe like a team with a good like one and one record. So you know, they 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 got some cred, but we know they can be beaten. Maybe something like that. If you got anyone on the cards, I'm not the person to talk to. Uh, you will find we'll we'll get to the person you guys talk to later uh, about that. But um, guys, great match. You guys both played fantastically well. Um, I think you guys just put the entire league on notice. Congratulations. Yeah, you picked the right partner. Thank you, Antonio. You carried my, my back through all that. Uh, thank you, man. And just to clarify, I, I thought you met the uh, – <laughs> The girl's name was Mara. I knew right. that. Right. His park was Danny. I knew the kid was Eric. I knew it was Eric, but yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, those are hard questions. So um, No, yeah, man. Uh, Andy, like, uh, I love Kirk. I've only just met Sean. They seem like great people. That was a FaceTime at the wrong time, but <laughs> like I said, they seem like great people, and uh, I wish them luck in the future. Um, but yeah, me and Antonio, I think it's time to go on a run. Yeah, I'm just glad we beat a team that has their own shirts. So I, I know we gotta we gotta work on that. We'll work on All right. it. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations, boys. Can't wait to see what you guys do next. Back to you, Brian. All right. So that brings to the end of this match. Um, do you have any final thoughts on the match, Andrew? Um, apparently I can't do math. Uh, that's my first thought. Um, but no, this was, this was a game that, this is actually the kind of game that I was hoping for. It was really close throughout. Um, unfortunately things just didn't go, uh, Jurassic Sharks way, but they've proven that they're a team to watch out for. Scruffy looking nerf herders. Um, they definitely showed why they're a team to look out for as well. So I thought this was a great match. Yeah, I thought it went very well. And as far as the math thing, don't worry, I've messed up so many times. Which is why we have two people to keep score. Um, but yeah, I mean, Kirk and Sean, we know what they can do. Um, I, I know all too well what they can do because the vague team they referenced in the beginning was myself and Sean Sandberg uh, in another league that they, they defeated us. And, uh, you know, I, I think I'm okay. But, you know, Sean, obviously we know how good he is. And so they obviously know what they're doing as a team. Um, the questions just didn't go their way today. But anything can happen. Um, they're obviously not going anywhere. They'll be in the league for a long time, as will our winners today, Scruffy Lucky Nerf Herders. Um, they came together kind of last minute, but they worked great, as, great, great together as a team. And so I think I. they're going to go. They're going to go places too. Um, I almost hate seeing two really promising teams go up against each other, especially in debuts, because now you know one has a win, one has a loss. But that does not reflect their talent in any way, shape, or form. But um, with that, I want to thank everybody for watching. And on behalf of myself, Brian, the Muckhuff and Michaels, Andrew, the Dive Bar, Nick, the Name Tuig, Antonio Chavez, Kirk, the Consigliere Kolakowski, and Sean, the Crusader, Wasser Krug. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we will catch you next time.